today we've got a crock a look a look a crock we have a mega crush sandal today from crocs which i'm going to show you guys which is i feel like it's either love it or hate it i mean it is a little bit crazy it's a croc sandal on steroids let me show you So to start with unboxing, not really unboxing because they don't come in a box, but we have a see-through bag that they come in. And as you can see, it's got the Crocs logo. These are super, super heavy. So let's just take them out so I can show you guys. So these are the Mega Crush sandals. And honestly, they are super, super heavy, but you can obviously see why, because just look at that platform. That platform is absolutely mental. These came in at £65, $80. So a bit more expensive than your kind of normal standard average Croc. Also, they did come in multiple colors as well obviously i've got the black today which is i guess quite boring compared to other colors um but they have like neon pink purple blue white they do actually have quite a few colors to choose from so let's take a closer look into this mega crush sandal obviously because it is a sandal we kind of have i guess a classic sandal silhouette however you will notice that this has some unique features in it that i think stand out completely to any other sandal that i've ever ever seen before so first thing you will notice that it is an open toe sandal so your toes will be on show when i do my on foot guys i am going to be wearing socks but it is an open toe sandal you will also notice that there are two straps as well so it's quite it's very very simple silhouette these straps as well do have holes in them for you to put your gibbets in them they don't come with any gibbets that is something that you would have to purchase separately to put into them then we have the classic strap at the back which you can move you can kind of have it to support your ankle this is literally the same as a normal croc um, you can wear it to have it to support your ankle personally for me I think I prefer this because it looks more like a sandal obviously you can push it to the front and you can just have it as like a backless sandal and um, on the strap as well we do have the crocs logo in black it is an all black sandal there is no white on it at all and um, so the logos and stuff I guess are quite subtle and then as you can see as well on the handle you have the crocs logo now the most craziest part about this sandal is of course the platform sole which is so so chunky it almost has a three kind of sections to the sole so as you can see on the first layer we have this kind of glossy rubber on the top as well and if you turn towards the back that is where we have the crocs logo i really like that gloss because i feel like it makes the shoe look a little bit more expensive again this is a really really thick part of the shoe as well and as you can see it kind of cuts into the middle as well to the next layer so if we do go to the next layer this time we do have rubber i guess this is the mid sole um and as you can see towards the back as well we do actually have some texture on this as well again i like that i like that they've put something that's not all just this plain rubber because it just yeah it just gives it a little bit more character to be honest really those two layers is what is giving this sandal that crazy height and um, if we do take a look on the outsole we have this really really good tread as i said before crocs tread is really usually good really really grippy as well that's definitely what you need if you're going to be wearing a platform sandal like this so they kind of roughly measure to around six um just over six centimeters about 2.5 inches as well so you are really adding on some height on the bottom as you can see we have the crocs logo and then we also have sizing as well which we'll touch on in a second now if we take a look in the insole we actually have some textured insole like tread inside as well which is absolutely amazing and what we need for grip now talking about comfortability i was really surprised when i tried this on because when you have it in hand it is a very very heavy shoe however when you put it on it does feel lightweight which is really really strange because you expect it to be really heavy this does also have a cross light footbed which molds to your foot for a custom fit and you can definitely feel that and it also helps with the arch support in your foot obviously this really chunky platform just adds to this comfortability i feel like if definitely if i put the heel strap back i could definitely run in this it feels very very gripping for anyone that likes the comfortability of normal standard crocs you are going to absolutely love these this has definitely got to be the most comfortable sandal i have ever tried on these are also a unisex sandal so they are literally made for anyone and everyone on the crocs actual website these do come in women's sizes and they also come in men's sizes my recommendation would be just go for your normal true to size size so for me i'm usually uk7 so that's exactly what i went for and they fit absolutely perfectly the only one thing to watch out unfortunately if you are a 0.5 size they don't do 0.5 sizes they only do full sizes so i would always recommend to just go up to your nearest big size i feel like it's always better to have a kind of shoe a croc sandal slide like this it's always better to go up 
up than to have it too small. For me, the main thing about these has got to be comfortability, but as well as that, I do feel like they are a unique looking platform sandal. And in the summer on holiday, I just, the comfortability, I could go walking in these as well as I feel like they do look cool. Also, another thing that I really loved about these, I have quite particularly big feet. So I was expecting these to make my feet look huge because obviously they are a platform shoe combined with I have big feet. I just thought my feet are gonna look like even more chunkier and bigger, which is just something I do not go for. But they actually don't make my feet look any bigger. In fact, they actually, they look kind of normal on my feet. I am kind of still unsure on my selection of colors. I kind of wish I did go for another color. So I might get another color and see what they are saying because I feel like they look so much more cute. As I said, because they are unisex, I guess some people might not want to wear the very like neon pink colors. I definitely think though you have to appreciate that these are a little bit out there. I know there are probably going to be people that absolutely despise these, but I feel like I could pull them off and I definitely think there's other people that can pull them off as well. So that brings me to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming through today and watching today's pickup. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay updated with all my latest videos and I hope you guys have an amazing day.